What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inizalea and in today's Tip Trick Tuesday, we're talking about sound design. Okay, so before I start this video, I hope you don't see me sweating here, but it's extremely hot in this room. It's midsummer, 30 degrees outside, Celsius, and yeah, inside I don't have any air conditioning because in Belgium usually it's cold, but now it's hot and yeah, this kind of... Uh, makes this situation going on. But before we start this video, I'm gonna be making a statement. In my opinion, sound quality is way more important than video quality. And this kind of sounds counterintuitive because this channel is all about video and not so much videos on sound design, but it's kind of true. To give you guys a better idea on understanding this, here is a comparison with good quality video and poor audio quality. All right, so I don't have the best angle, but here I'm recording uh, on my GH5S, but with the internal camera uh, microphone, so it should be worse than the actual microphone that I've been recording while uh, filming with the Samsung SA+. And here is bad quality video with great audio. All right, so here we don't have the best video quality. As you can see, I'm recording with my um, front camera on my Samsung S8 Plus, but I didn't clean the lens, so uh, that way it looks a little bit more, uh, well, it looks a little worse, uh, especially in the highlights, but the audio quality is still on point, and that's basically the most important thing, especially with videos like this. I think this explains enough. Okay, so we settled the fact that audio is quite important when making videos, but what what is sound design really? It's, it's not just choosing a great soundtrack and adding music to your video, it's a lot more than that. You actually have four main parts of sound design. Voiceover, ambience and foley, music and creative sound effects. Like transitions or movement sounds, like a whoosh effect or a reverb sound effect that kind of goes like this and then your next shot would go. But yeah, these parts also need to be leveled to complement each other. For example, your voiceover should always, always be prominent above the other ones. You can't have music with a voiceover where you can't even hear the person talking. So then the voiceover should be leveled higher than the music. The music should be at a lower decibel amount. Same goes for sound effects. If your sound effects are just too strong when someone is saying a word and that word just goes totally lost because of that sound effect, at that moment in time, uh, that kind of ruins the entire video. That's really not the goal of sound effects. Sound effects should complement your video and not distract your audience in any way. So level everything accordingly. To do this, I highly, highly recommend you to use a pair of quality headphones. I'm using a pair of Marshall headphones here, which I didn't get sponsored uh, to talk about in this video, but they did send me one over uh, just for myself because I was actually reaching out to them, telling them how much I love their brand and that I would love to try and their headsets because I already have this speaker, this Bluetooth speaker, which is absolutely stunning. I'm a huge fan of Marshall, one for their audio quality, but also for their stunning vintage design, which I really am super attracted to. I love the style of Marshall and so kind of a visual attraction as well. Um, but yeah, the audio quality goes hand in hand, so that makes it a perfect item for me. But yeah, that has nothing to do with this video, let's get back on track. Using a headset while editing allows me to listen much closer to my audio and really hear crispy details that I wouldn't hear on my speakers. It's kind of comparable if you would buy a 4K camera and then review your footage on a regular HD 720p uh, monitor that would completely take away the reason why you're shooting on 4K because you can't actually see its true capacity on your monitor. You wouldn't unleash its true potential. That's why I record in 4K and I review my footage on a 4K monitor. The same should be done with audio. So review it as close as possible with as much as possible detail while while editing and otherwise you will find yourself exaggerating your sound design while editing on speakers because you can't really hear the crispy or detailed sounds and you would take the levels way too high and then when someone with a headset would be listening to your video would say hey this is way too much and that's not what you want because for every person their speakers would be different and headphones would just offer you a great standard to work from and then everyone would actually listen on a different setup and have different sound but still you have a great baseline while editing on a speaker because there you kind of manage all the uh, possible setups because there you could work around every kind of setup that your audience would be viewing on. Of course, once you're done editing, you can review your video on your speakers as well because the environment is equally as important. People are going to see it in different environments. So how does your video sound? 
and the environment. It's always nice to review your final video production on as many as possible devices with as many possible different setups. For example, in your smartphone, your laptop with its internal speakers, your speakers on your PC, your headphones. I think that kind of is enough. If you really want to be sure that your audience is receiving your message well, that way you are as sure as can be that your audience is going to have a pleasurable watch time. Whether it's color grading, sound design quality, it doesn't matter, it's always nice to kind of compare your video production or your final result on a few different devices. Also, when editing with sound effects, try to keep everything as subtle as possible. For this, headphones are great because every detail really stands out and you can give it 100% focus. Whew, damn, it's really, really hot in here. Um, but we're almost done. Okay, so don't overdo your audio gain. Even if at the end of your entire stacking of audio, you really can't hear it and you put so much effort into making that sound design, let it be subtle. It doesn't need to be heard all the time. The audience isn't going to necessarily notice the sound design that you have been working on all day, but that's also not really the point. It depends on the subject, of course, um, but they subconsciously are going to notice that the sound is great. And if you didn't add that sound design at the beginning of your audio stacking, the people would feel like something is still missing, something is off. And that's basically what you want to avoid. You don't want your audience wandering off and thinking that your video has something missing. So sound design is basically that. Subtle effects that just make it feel complete. And that's all you want. Of course, in some cases you can exaggerate the sounds because if someone in the distance is walking, of course you wouldn't hear that sound, but on camera you do want to hear that sound. So you would kind of crunch up uh, the gain on the steps that the person is taking. But of course, these are fully sounds. So make sure that your video doesn't feel like something is missing. Also, before I end this video, I quickly want to tell you why I love these headsets so much. And then you can make your own decision in what kind of headset you want to do. But I really love the fact that these are wireless because I kind of really, really, really hate wires. They always figure out a way to be in my way under my chair wheels every single time I move my chair even one centimeter. Somehow that cable manages to get under my wheels and block my entire chair, let my headset fall off the table while I had a glass standing in between them full of water and the water spills on my floor and the entire day is ruined. So I really hate cables. If this brings the message. I don't know how they do it, but they manage every single time to frustrate me. So hence why I love wireless stuff. And secondly, if you're in a noisy environment, let's say the office while people are working next to you, typing on their keyboards all the time, talking to their clients, making phone calls all day, or just listening to music, and you just wanna focus on editing, then you can simply switch the noise cancellation button and you're good to go. So now you can concentrate on your own work. I also use these headsets while I'm outside to chill and listen to music or audiobooks. For example, when I ride my Meepo board, which is uh, really awesome actually, but that's probably another video, has nothing to do with this video. But when I ride it, I do take one of the headsets, uh, one part of it, uh, and I just tuck it behind my ears so I can still hear the environment because safety first, guys. If you can't hear the traffic while you're in the traffic, it's super dangerous. So that's something I don't like to do. I might do a video on this Meeple board because I never expected it to be so much fun and really you can also use it for filmmaking, creative stuff, uh, super cool. Uh, I don't want to make you guys jealous but I really really love that thing, it's amazing and it actually goes quite far. But I'm getting off track again. But be safe guys. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give this video a like, also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. If you buy something, you'll help to support the channel. Alright, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.